With WKUF News, I'm David Jackson for Monday, May 9th, 2016. Leaving your dog in the car during unsafe conditions could become illegal, with up to five years in prison. Emily Lawler on MLive.com reports that a pair of Senate bills introduced last week would join 16 other states that make leaving an animal unattended in a car in conditions that could endanger the health and well-being of the animal illegal. Hazardous conditions include, but are not limited to, excessive heat or cold, lack of adequate ventilation, or lack of food or water. The bills make a first offense punishable by up to a $350 fine, while an incident that results in the animal's death could be punishable with up to a $5,000 fine or five years in prison. An existing law governs leaving children in cars and comes with appropriately higher fines and penalties for those violating the statute. Michigan Senator Rick Jones of Grand Ledge says that we should be concerned about animal abuse since animal abusers tend to graduate to people abusers. The bills have been referred to the Senate Judiciary Committee, where they currently await review. Local law enforcement plans to meet with Flint residents to answer questions and to discuss the latest efforts in the community. Amanda Emery of the Flint Journal reports that the Flint Police, Michigan State Police, and Genesee County Sheriff's Office are scheduled to hold a meeting at the Northridge Academy on West Pearson Road this afternoon at 6 p.m. The event is free and open to all Red Flint residents who have questions and concerns or are interested in hearing what local law enforcement efforts are active in their neighborhoods. U.S. Congressman Dan Kildee, who represents Michigan's 5th Congressional District, which includes the Flint area, will be in Davison today to meet with constituents. Mark Tower on MLive.com reports that Representative Kildee announced three so-called coffee hour events in his district, culminating with today's meeting at the Tim Hortons in Davidson today from 10.30 to noon. According to Kildee's staff, the event is an opportunity for local residents to discuss their issues and opinions with the congressman. And in addition to the coffee hours, Representative Kildee's staff are available in the congressman's Flint office located at 111 East Court Street, Suite No. 3B, during normal business hours from 9 to 5. North Korea's ruling party adopted a resolution last week to strive toward a more modern economy and for the peaceful reunification of the Korean Peninsula. The Washington Post reports that Kim Jong-un gave a three-hour speech in which the country's leader announced a five-year economic plan to kickstart the country's economy as well as promising to improve the living standards of the country. The wording of his pledges, however, were decidedly conservative, giving no hint that any fundamental changes to his country's strict socialist economy were in consideration. In regards to the recent ballistic and nuclear weapons tests, Kim said in his speech that North Korea was a responsible nuclear state that will not use their weapons first unless its sovereignty was threatened and will sincerely fulfill its duties for the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons and work toward the new denuclearization of the world unless the South opts for war. Kim also stressed the need for talks to ease animosities with their neighbors to the south. However, South Korea's unification ministry dismissed the offer for talks as propaganda that lacks sincerity. This is the first time that North Korea's full Congress has met since 1980. Foreign journalists were invited into the country to cover the event. However, they have not been invited into the event itself, and the information available, according to the Washington Post, has only come from the state-run news network. And finally, those that use M24 to head south should expect even more delays this weekend. Amanda Emery of the Flint Journal reports that the Michigan Department of Transportation will be closing M24 northbound and southbound for a sewer repair near Silverbell Road, just two blocks north of the palace. Appropriate detours will be provided, but north and southbound traffic will be closed for the weekend from Friday, May 13th at 9 p.m. to the following Monday morning at 5 a.m. For more information about today's stories, visit WKUF.FM. I'm David Jackson.